Isabella, my name, I'm Evelyn Hain Wybrow. My age is uh, 93, I'll be 94 next month, actually. It's a funny thing to say, but I've never been old. I've never felt old. Evelyn's a lovely lady. Um, I was quite impressed with her when I first met her. She came in very sprightly, glamorous lady um, for her age. She was quite impressive, but obviously struggling with her aortic stenosis. The symptoms did limit me to the extent that um, I was losing my confidence. I felt I, I couldn't go out on my own. I did feel like a prisoner in my own home. Yes, I did. Her symptoms were um, pretty severe and they were definitely impacting on her lifestyle. Becoming very, very short of breath, having chest pain and becoming quite fatigued. She's a very social lady. She likes to go out with her friends and walk. She's a great traveller and she was finding that she really couldn't do this anymore. So it was um, impacting on her, on her lifestyle. I started to notice it last year when I was in Russia, in St. Petersburg. I noticed I couldn't keep up with other people. And I thought, well, this is definitely something wrong. And um, I was feeling quite distressed. Everything seemed to be getting too much for me. But I didn't know anything about aortic stenosis before all this happened. No, I didn't have a clue what it was. Well, that was when I went to see Mr. Clinton Lloyd. We know that aortic stenosis that is left untreated will certainly result in symptoms deteriorating rapidly and progressively over the course of the next year to two years. We know that that will impact on the quality of life of the patient. We also know that that will also impair the heart function leading to heart failure and ultimately death. What I did, I must tell you, I made a whole list of things to ask him when I went because sometimes we forget what went on when we get home. He said that he thought I would need a new valve that uh, things were getting furred up. And then he explained to me the procedure and said that uh, he had a couple of options of entry into my heart. Well, it was either through here, through the rib, the rib cage, or through the groin. The introduction of Tabby has, has changed the whole landscape of uh, treating this problem. Hello, Mr. Bones, we're here to take the theatre. This means that there's a large proportion of elderly patients who would previously not have received treatment and now have options for treatment. I first met uh, Evelyn about four months ago in pre-assessment. Um, she had her procedure only ten weeks ago and she's actually doing remarkably. I went in on the Thursday and I had the procedure on the Friday. On the Saturday morning, the physiotherapist took me up the steps, up the staircase and talking to me at the same time. And I was able to do that as well. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. She's the sort of patient that um is rewarding to um, deal with because you can see a huge change in her life that the Tavi has made. Um, she's back to, she, she is back to a decent quality of life. I wasn't worried about anything. That's the main thing, being put at ease and um, being confident that you're in safe hands and that everything is going to work beautifully, which it did. I would advise anybody who needs this tabby procedure to go through with it without any hesitation when you realise what the benefits are.
wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic what can be done. It makes me feel like a new woman. <laughs>